Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Yi Yong here and welcome to a Wii U news update video. Systems have finally been sent out to journalists and Nintendo released another episode of Nintendo Direct to unbox the Wii U and talk about its interface. So let's dive right into it. First, the unboxing. Today we got to see the unboxing for the premium edition of the Wii U. Iwata himself did the unboxing on Nintendo Direct, putting on white gloves and everything like he was performing a prostate exam. For those who bought the original Wii, packaging should be familiar. With two cardboard boxes stacked on top of each other, with each compartment containing the various components. The first shelf will have the less interesting stuff, such as the AC adapter for the console and the gamepad, the stands, instruction manuals, and those in USA and Europe will get Nintendo Land, which comes fully packaged in a game box rather than the sleeve we got for Wii Sports. On the second compartment, we get the juicy stuff, the Wii U console and the Wii U gamepad, all in their sleek fingerprint magnet glory. All the unboxings from various other websites are essentially the same, just with different people and different camera angles. But notice that the Nintendo Direct unboxing, done by the president of Nintendo himself, does not come packaged with Nintendo Land. Unlike regions such as Europe and America, Japan will not be getting Nintendo Land packaged in with the premium Wii U set. I guess for some reason Nintendo hates their country. Oh well. Next, let's talk about what has been revealed in terms of software. First up is the Wada Wada Plaza. Personally, I love the name. For those who don't know, Wada Wada is a Japanese onomatopoeia of sorts from the sound made by crowds of a crowded place, which suits this plaza perfectly. In the Wada Wada Plaza, displayed will be the games that you've played, and Mies will populate certain games and talk about them. And these Mies are other accounts from other real individuals leaving comments. So yup, Wada Wada Plaza may be the closest thing to video game social networking. It looks awesome. For those worried about trolls and spoilers, Nintendo will have an entire team moderating the plaza to keep the peace. In terms of spoilers, maybe players will have the ability to label their comments as spoilerific, and players can choose in the settings whether they want spoiler containing comments to be displayed. This is still an assumption, but I'm guessing some feature like this will be included. Next, let's talk about the user interface players will be navigating through to get to the various apps, settings, and features like the web browser, friend list, games, and Nintendo TV, etc. First off, before you even access the main menu and the Wada Wada Plaza, you will have to set up a personal account for the Wii U. For those curious, the Wii U supports up to 12 different accounts. I don't know what kind of family has 12 different members, but for me, 12 is good enough. After that, there will actually be a launch day system update to activate the various online features like Wada Wada Plaza, Miiverse, the eShop, and the Nintendo Network. To access these features, players will also of course have to create an online account or a Nintendo Network ID. Anyways, once the system is set up, the Wada Wada Plaza will be on the TV and on the gamepad you will see an interface that vastly resembles the 3DS main menu, only with better graphics. Players can swap the Wada Wada Plaza and the navigation interface back and forth from TV to gamepad. Despite its resemblance to 3DS, the interface here is far more advanced with some multitasking features. Some of the footage from Nintendo Direct shows off the ability to browse the web with a game on, which should come in handy for those who are stuck in some part of the game and require guidance. While not too much has been revealed, rest assured that this interface will be Nintendo's most advanced yet, as many developers and impressions throughout the web have pointed out. I mean hell, the web browser for the Wii U even received nearly the same rating of usefulness as the new Internet Explorer. There's actually some sort of a rating system for web browser's usability, and Nintendo's web browser is up there with desktop browsers. To get an idea, the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 browsers only have half the points as we use web browser and other desktop web browsers. One more thing about the interface. While players are playing games, hitting the home button will lead them to a sub-menu of sorts that gives shortcut access to various apps and features in the Wii U, and it looks something like this, so players can open up the web browser to look for a guide on some part they may be stuck in, or if they suddenly feel the need to watch some porn, no sweat. Players can also access Miiverse to leave a comment, almost like a status or a comment on Facebook, that others will be able to see. And players can not only write out their comments, but they can also choose to draw them. And they can even attach game screenshots and also select from various emoticon-like images to reflect their moods. And what you choose will actually reflect on the animated Mii's on the player avatar and on the plaza. Others can even reply to the remarks you make or the questions you ask, and you can do the same for the comments and remarks of others. And if you really feel like you've gotten to know some stranger, you can easily send a friend request. 
Man, pedophiles are gonna have a blast with this. The entire Miiverse and Wada Wada Plaza integration will keep gamers and stalkers connected like no other platform. As you can see from the footage, entire communities can be formed on one game, and players can access these communities directly from the gamepad. Furthermore, Miiverse integration reaches to the games themselves, should developers choose to implement it. For example, in games like Mario, speech bubbles may pop up on the levels of the world map with comments from your friends and other players talking about their experiences for specific levels. Players can in turn leave a comment themselves for others to see. Speaking of online features, they also show off the video chat functionality of the Wii U, which actually looks really, really neat. Although I gotta say, the footage shown on Nintendo Direct was one of the most awkward conversations I had the displeasure to sit through. Nihon no Minisan Kenichiwa Nintendo Obu America no Reggie Des. How is my Japanese? No, just no. Anyways, the feature has some nice effects, and while the camera won't blow minds in terms of megapixels, it seems to get the job done. People can also draw stuff on the screen while chatting. This is a new age for video trolling and video sex. And finally, Nintendo Direct announced an exclusive feature for Japan, karaoke. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, players in Japan can buy microphones and pay for digital tickets that will grant them access to the online karaoke system. These tickets will vary in price and will grant players players time limits from one hour all the way up to three months. I'm not gonna lie, I would love to have this feature here in America. But hey, we got Nintendo TV, and thus far, journalists have had the chance to use the universal remote feature, and impressions thus far have been extremely positive, stating that setting up the universal remote is incredibly easy, and that its usability is incredible, especially because of its ease of use. In fact, if you go to IGN right now, they'll give you a limited impressions article, and I gotta say, what they had to say so far really got me pumped up. Anyways, that is it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Keep in mind that not all of Nintendo Direct has been translated, so if you see something I missed, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be on the lookout for anything I might have missed as well, and keep you posted. Be sure to subscribe to Young Gear to be updated on Wii U. I got mine pre-ordered, hell yeah. And to be updated on AAA titles such as Skyrim, Fallout 4, Grand Theft Auto 5, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, The Legend of Zelda, and more. Also, be sure to check out my main projects, the Skyrim Cinemas, and expect more of them in the near future. Thank you very much, and yong out!